Okay, so really quickly I want to get into a thing called Muse Hub. That's along with the Muse Sounds, that is uh, one of the big improvements that they've made here. So if you go up here, uh, first you have to actually install the Muse, Muse Hub. Um, they do have it for download when you download the 4.0 version of this, so be sure to find it. Um, when you open this up, the hub, it's got your home, your sounds, your effects, and your introduction or inspiration. So, and this will be podcasts. This will be something like introducing Muse Hub. What is it? Anything is possible with Muse Hub, that kind of thing. So, um, And then you can actually go for tours on uh, different, you know, look up different scores. Let's say if I were going to get this, all right, okay, um, and then go. So that's a sample of what you can do with all of this. So use this as your you know, your uh, inspiration to actually write with this because it's pretty come a long way with this. So um, just wanted to let you know about this because this has made MuseScore a very 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 um, useful resource for composers, especially those who can't afford Finale or Sibelius or any of those. So, um, now that we've gone through the tour, we can do, this is, this is home. So this is going to be your Muse score app entirely. This is going to be just this. And then we go to the M, the Muse Hub again. Audacity. It has this Audacity software for you to, I guess, mix your recordings in to make them, um, to make them uh, even more lifelike, and you know, to beef up the gain a little bit, uh, make the recordings. Uh, a little bit uh, CD ready, you know, a little bit more CD ready for either that or MP3 ready, that kind of thing. So, um, so that's that. And then we have Staff Pad. Now, this is in the Mac App Store. I think I think this is just in 
the Apple terms. Uh, staff pad. Um, so staff pad is basically their their uh, basically the on the go uh, deal. When you're on the go, you can write music on your phone or on your tablet, whatever. So that is that is that. All right. So then we go back, and I'm going to take this, and then we have Tone Bridge. Now these are effects processing, that, or at least some of it. So this, there's a collection of different um, You know, top, you know, top songs that have been mixed uh, that could be put into MuseScore documents and actually used as presets. So that will be in a later video as well. Uh, now we're going to go to sounds, which is there. Uh, I'm going to actually break this up. So. We've done Muse, Muse Hub, we've introduced it, and we've actually went over the home page. Um, of course, choir. And then, that's just the overview. And then strings, of course. And then brass. That's where you find this. So we have gone through all of those. Make sure you have checked, have a blue check mark next to both of these in order to get these instruments loaded into your Muse score so you can keep, you know, keep the inspiration going with that. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to move on to the next one, which is sounds.